Don't tell me I need to remember these names because I'm so bad at remembering names. Oh, yikes. That our rare guy has a huge scar on his face. He's kind of giving Pipe on the creeps. Ah, I've met him before. The scar is from an injury he received during a mission. <laughs> I still remember him joking with me about it. He said any future lover would take one look at him and then lose all interest. That said... Did he say anything else? Way to said. Well, I asked if there was someone he was interested in. He said no, and that's where our conversation ended. Best friends. It was only later that I learned he really did have someone he liked. He risked everything to escape so he could be with her, but... It didn't work. One day, father asked to see him. And, well... I never saw him again after that. Okay, that's... Wait, so that means... The knave, she... It may she seem cruel, probably but it's banished just one of the him. rules of the house. Betrayal is not to be taken lightly. We know too many secrets to come and go as we please. Okay. So, if you do try to leave, you pay with your life. Is that really the rule? <laughs> Her name's <gasps> not here, huh? Well, that's not too surprising. It doesn't seem like this list is complete. It only contains records dating back around five years. Let's shift our attention then. Fremini, were you able to find anything out? <sighs> Fremini. Hello. Uh, Earth uh, Fremini. I was thinking about something. I managed to talk to quite a few people, but I couldn't help but notice that the atmosphere in the house was a little. Strange. Strange? Yeah, I mean, I know there have been arguments in the past, times when people haven't gotten along. Chaplo and Filial are a good example of that. Oh, those are two of the people that we met while delivering supplies. Paimon can see how they might not get along. They had very different vibes, and their, um, interests seem to be pretty different as well. Yep. That's to be expected, actually. Father brought us all here, shared her knowledge with us, taught us how to fight. That's one thing we all share. But that's also where the similarities end. Oh. Not all of us feel the same desire to stay here. I get it now. As members of the House of the Hearth, we're also considered part of the Fatui. And to a lot of people, that's an identity they never asked for. Certain members get older and realize they want something else for themselves. But considering the rules of the house, most people would never say that out loud. People like Chaplot and Foltz are loyal to Father and her vision. They're proud to be part of the Fatui. Filial and Nantoy, on the other hand, well, they aren't quite as enthusiastic. These kinds of conflicts have always been there. It's not like Father is in the dark about any of this. Well, that's true. But it just feels like things have gotten worse lately. Filial and the others... It seemed like they were meeting in secret to talk about something. Huh? I can't say for sure. But I think they've met Claire V. Whoa. That's a... That's a problem. You think she's been inciting them to act out? No, not exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if she said something to them about the darkness in the house and how deep it runs. Okay. She's told me about it before. Experiments being run on children. People being used as pawns on the battlefield without so much as the strength to survive. And they just believed all that? Without any evidence? But is this about the current House of Hearth or the earlier one? That's what I want to find out. Clarivy's words probably gave them the excuse they were looking for. Whether they actually believe them to be true is secondary. Okay. <sighs> this is all because of Project Stuja, isn't it? What is that pro- So that, that was the name, Stuja. Oh, wait a second. What's this Project Stuja all about, huh? This is the second time it's come up now. Sorry, but I'm not sure of the details either. I only know what Father has told us, which is that it's something the Rooster and Regrater have been working on together. 
Apparently, it has to do with the Fatui's strategic plan for okay. the future. Okay, Rooster, I think, is the banker. But Regrator is that no-face guy. I don't remember their uh, all of their identities. Because the House of the Hearth was so successful in obtaining the Gnosis, we now have the honor of playing a key role in Project Stuja. Okay. Wait, but isn't that a good thing? Key role is just another way of saying dangerous role. To us, the whole thing is an inconvenience. Father thinks so too, but she's in no position to refuse. Their plan isn't exactly unreasonable, and they've been funneling the house a lot of funding. It's just that we'll lose a lot of members in the process. Participating in the plan, it's an honor in name only. What they're really trying to do is subdue us. The existence of an intelligence organization outside their control makes them feel uneasy. I mean, they're not wrong. Looks like the father... Oh, hold on. Okay, looks like the Fatui are plotting something big, but given how little Lini and the others seem to know about it, I probably won't be able to learn much. I should keep a sharp eye out during any future dealing with the Fatui to see what I can learn. Hmm, yeah, sure. Okay, super complicated top secret Fatui business aside, hmm? what does all of this have to do with the conflicts you were talking about earlier? Paimon doesn't get the connection. External pressure has a way of exacerbating internal strife. You can't overlook the power of fear, either. People are afraid of dying. And that fear is often the impetus for a lot of stupid decisions. I thought resolving the Clairvy situation would make everything go back to normal. But it looks like things are more complicated than I thought. Yeah, we're diving too deep. If we leave Filiol and the others to their own devices, sooner or later, Father will be forced to take action. So I guess he's just we telling the knave about her. At a time, brother. You're right. Even if we confront Filial and the others, it won't do any good. It might even make matters worse. We should focus on Clairvy for now. Well, it's getting late. We should head back and get some rest. We'll try again first thing tomorrow. Okay. Lynette, you stick with me this time. Fremenet, keep a close eye on Filial and the others. Make sure they don't do anything they'll regret. Good work today, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh, rest at the temporary accommodations. Oh, I get the house for myself. Rest. You mind races with us? Bro, I don't have time to read all that. To an early night, but she can't sleep at all. Uh, okay. Hey. You don't think the knave will be too angry with Lenny and everyone if she finds out about all this, do you? I'm pretty sure she's behind you. She's even scary when she smiles. <laughs> if she were to actually get angry... Ooh, you have to protect Paimon if that happens, okay, Traveler? You can just hide behind me. I'm not afraid of her, hello? <sighs> Trust you, uh, Zephyr Traveler. There's Clairvy. <gasps> Look! Look over there! She's just haunting. What's she doing over there? Quick, let's catch up with her before anyone sees. Follow Clervy. Over there. She just spawned. What was that? <laughs> She's literally a ghost. How did she interact with the dog? She's just spawning and disappearing. And let me guess, the knave is literally there. That would be so funny if Arlequino is there and she li just runs into Arlequino. I don't have stamina for. Uh, oh, barely. I thought she couldn't leave the place or she couldn't step into the sun. I don't know. I don't remember. What? I opened the window while no one was looking. What window? Look how pretty the outside is. Huh? 
I'm confused. Window? If only I could have more than this. This is creepy, and I love it. Being silly, huh? All this hopeless resisting. It's better to dream of what I could have than try to make it a reality, right? Please help us get on the same page here, Cleary. Yeah. We need you to tell us what you know. Can you do that? Sure. But explain like we're uh, dumb. After you hear all this, I think you might regret that decision. Everyone in this family is nothing more than a tool. Something to be used and exploited. We're all expendable. Including me. Okay, anything as else? As you're useful, you get to stick around. Lose your value. You're handed over to the doctor. Experimented on. And given a fate worse than death. I've seen it happen again and again. And I've had enough. Is this before or in the present? You're saying the knave did all that? Because it's just, we're referring to her as the she knave. Do. She's scary and all, but it seems like even she has lines she wouldn't cross. She's, we're referring to Arlequino as the knave. The thing is, the knave was also the one before Arlequino. So I think this is just a huge misunderstanding. This really feels like a huge misunderstanding. Hm. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Everyone thinks she's a good person. They all think of her like a real mother. See? See? This is it. This is the proof. So I was right. She is talking about the 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 the, 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 the She's talking about the first the, the, the knave before Arlequino. This is just a misunderstanding and she doesn't see the present. She's all all already she only sees the past. Mother? Yeah. But she doesn't deserve that title. She's disgraced it and tarnished it. And if I had things my way, I'd never see her again. If only Perry were here. Wait, Perry! Wait! Perry is Arlequino. In the trailer, she was like... Wasn't she called Perrier? Or something like that? Wait... I, we need context on this in the game because I'm pretty sure if people didn't see, if new players don't see that trailer, they won't know things. But I mean, I, I feel like I feel like this is intended to to just be a, like a big reveal when uh, Perry will be called uh, when Arlequino will be called Perry. I'm pretty sure. Harry. There's that name again. Yeah, I think that's what they are trying to do. And they spoiled us with the trailer. Also, Paimon's getting a strange feeling. Because we wouldn't know any of these like before really the trailer. With us. Yeah. Paimon can't tell if she's actually talking to us or if she's mistaken us for someone else. See, Paimon gets me. I'm not sure either she's a spirit. It could be anything. Mm. Well, in any case... It seems like she really needs someone to talk to. We should keep her company for a little longer. She looks so young. But it seems like she's been through a lot. <sighs> it's getting windy. I should close the window. Wait, the window. That scene. Is she talking to... No, she, she cannot talk, be talking to Perry because I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, at that point, she... she said if only Perry was here, so she's not talking to Perry. Who does she see in us? <laughs> We're getting goosebumps. Oh, look at the moon. Isn't it pretty? Hey, wanna hear a secret? I heard that if you look up at the night sky in Shnezhnaya, you can see the aurora. Bro. It's supposed to be super pretty. Even prettier than the moon tonight. It's get I'm I'm getting so many goosebumps. Perry and I promised each other that once we're older, we're gonna go see it together. But I can't find her. I'm worried she's all souping. No, that wouldn't happen to her. She's special. Mother likes her a lot. 
Oh yeah, how did I realize that? She has that bell. She has that flower that she had in the trailer. Trailer in that short animation. Okay, so the, now they're uh, they're connect. Everything is connected. I should really go talk to mother, but we just fought. She doesn't want to see me, and I'm too scared to face her. At this point, just talk to Arlequino. What do I do? Because we know too much. If we if we literally just say the words Perry and mother, she would probably just tell us. I'm pretty sure this would have something. Come do that to She gives up. Okay. <sighs> really doesn't understand what's going on with her. Well, I feel like she's just that. a memory it's lurking memory here. Tomorrow. The night passes. All right, looks like we're all here. Let's go ahead with the plan. Before we do that, I have a question. Who is mother? I'm pretty sure that's what. Oh? What is it? Have the Nave and the doctor ever worked together? What makes you ask that? Well, Intel. We kind of ran into Clairview last night, and that's what she told us. We met the doctor back in Sumeru. He's super dangerous, and he's done all sorts of bad things. Dangerous and smart, don't it's forget. It's possible that father and the doctor have had certain dealings, but I don't think father would work with him. We're not really on the same side, so there's not a lot of trust between them. That doesn't exactly set the stage for a successful plan. Yeah, it's just this is just I a huge misunderstanding. When father first became a harbinger, the doctor offered to work with the House of the Hearth. Father rejected most of his proposals, except for one. It had to do with some sort of secret experiment. Secret experiment? Could that be what Clarvy was talking about? Mm, I don't think so. I don't know any details about the experiment itself, but I do know it's an entirely independent operation. The doctor only proposed a direction for the research. That was the extent of his involvement. I still don't think that counts as working together. The details of the experiment are confidential, but complete records are kept on all participants. That doesn't seem to be the case with the situation Clairvy referred to. I know you don't agree with some of the Fatui's methods, and I'm not asking you to. But I am asking you to trust us on this. The House of the Hearth has its own principles. Yeah, so it's and just a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> All right, that's good to hear at least. Clarvy seems to think the Knave and the Doctor work together to do something horrible. If that turned out to be true, Paimon doesn't know how he would even face you guys. It's just that... It doesn't seem like Clairvy is lying either. The easiest thing to do would be just ask the knave directly, but Paimon doesn't think she'd tell us. Again, if you said the word, say the word Perry and Nay uh, and the mother, I'm pretty sure she would tell you, because those are just two key words that I'm pretty sure no one here knows, because Lini. Who I'm I'm, I'm uh, more than hundred percent sure has all the intel here in the House of Hearth. Doesn't know the name Perry, and all their life they've called Arlequino father. So I'm pretty sure they don't know about any mother or any um, any Perry. So they couldn't couldn't have told us, told us whatever. So let's focus on father the plan didn't now. Come back last night. She's probably still near the shore. We'll be counting on you to distract her. I'm just telling her Annette, that those two words. Me. Fremine, you know what to do. Be on your guard, everyone. I'm telling her those two right, words. You cannot make me choose other options, game. Did she wait here all night? Uh, woman, don't you sleep? Ah, oh, it's you two again. I must say, you look a bit pale. <laughs> Did you have trouble sleeping last Did night? Did you see a ghost last night? Uh, a little. Perhaps if you had less on your mind, you'd be able to absolve yourself of such troubles. So what are you planning to do now? Catch up on some sleep? Or should I give you some time to rack your brain for a topic to discuss before I ask any questions? Well... Although I must profess to being curious. Without child here... How do you plan on distracting? Yeah, I know she's figure, bro. She's not dumb. 
and Paimon was just giving away, uh, giving her a lot and a lot of hints that something's going on. I, I was 100% sure that she uh, realized by now something is up. There's nothing here that will, uh, that made you think she didn't sus uh, suspect something is a mist. Distract you? <laughs> a good one. Paimon, you can shut up now. Hmm. Looks like you could have used some extra time to think. Yeah. No matter. If you don't have any other plans, why don't you accompany me somewhere? Don't worry. I'll be sure to steer clear of any scheming children. Okay. Uh, the ocean breeze is sure nice today. So know everything then. Children always think they can hide things from the grown-ups. Yep. But nothing gets past me. Least of all a little scheming. I think I'll let them have at it for a little longer. <laughs> I can be very patient. Well, I'll leave you to think things over. If you're so inclined, meet me outside the Palais Mermonia. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. If only for your friend's sakes. Yeah, sure. I mean, I need to distract you, so basically... <laughs> She clearly knows about everything we've been doing, and Paimon doesn't think it'd be a stretch to say she was threatening us just now. We should release the pigeon that... I mean, yeah, let's tell Lenny about it and just go to Palais Memoria. Oh, good idea. Hopefully he sees it in time. Or get inter well, gets intercepted by Arlecchino. Like, you know. Memoria. Paimon doesn't want to find out what happens if we don't show up. Based on what the knave was saying just now, it sure didn't seem like it'd be anything good. We really don't have any other option, because all we can do is take it one step at a time. Okay, then we probably shouldn't keep her waiting. It seems like Linny and the others are on thin ice, so let's do our best to not get them in any more trouble. Seeing as we still have some time before my meeting, we might as well enjoy some pleasant conversation while we wait. I'm glad to see you get along with my children. Being surrounded by good companions is necessary for a child's development. You're not planning on doing anything to them, are you? I assume you're referring to Lenny, Lynette, and Fremine. Although, there's that situation with Filial and Nentoy as well. Hmm. It appears quite a few people have been acting out lately. And I'm pretty sure it's because of that phantom chain. And now I know why... She's trying to get rid of her. She's spreading misinformation from the past. No matter. I'm but not what to is that spirit? All those who betray the house meet the same fate. There are no exceptions. Does that mean you're going to kill them? I'm pretty oh. sure she doesn't are kill. Are you here to beg for their lives? <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint, but the rules of the house change for no one. In my organization, everyone is responsible for their own actions. Okay. But don't you care about them at all? They really respect you. They even call you father. You must feel something for them. I'm on chill out. She's toying with and you. The organization in which feelings come before principles is one destined for ruin. The House of the Hearth is hardly an exception. You could say our principles are more stringent than most. Perhaps I can offer you this consolation at least. As our guests, you two will not be held accountable along with them. I mean... I... I think it's better for me to be held accountable instead of them. I'm pretty sure I'm stronger than them. <laughs> I would imagine Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet will be able to keep their lives. As for Filial, Nantoy, and the others, I'm afraid there's little I can do. They can try to escape, but once you know our secrets, there's no getting out alive. But I know a couple of secrets. <laughs> but, but that's, that's, that's awful. Ah, oh, you seem concerned. Out of consideration for my guests, I suppose I could turn a blind eye for a little longer. Just tell her the if names. And the others manage to dispose of Claire V in the meantime. All evidence of their wrongdoing will be lost. In that case, I could hardly punish them for something I couldn't prove. If their efforts are unsuccessful, on the other hand, all will be held accountable. And the punishment will be severe. It's a deal. Of course. Oh, and here. I believe this belongs to you. 
Do try and keep it. <laughs> <on the track laughs> I told the she the, the bird got intercepted by her like you know. <laughs> Bro, this is literally I can read her like a book. I can read this story quest like a book. It takes a considerable amount of time to train a bird like this. It would be such a pity if you were to lose it permanently. Wait, where did you get that? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have to chat. Now, for the matter at hand. I asked you to meet me here because I have business at the Palais Mermonia. It has nothing to do with you, but I think it would be prudent for you to stick by my side for the time being. There will always be time later to run off and tell Linny what you've learned. Okay. Well, time to go. Looks like we wrapped things up just in time. Okay, let's see the meeting. Who are we meeting? Are we meeting an other Harbingers? I haven't seen the other Harbingers here in the game, so it would be nice. Probably not in a story quest, but I guess. Let's see, who are we meeting here? Maybe Nuvillette? Follow the name to complete... We're going to Nuvillette, uh, Nuvillette's office, so I guess we're meeting Nuvillette. Yep, we're meeting Nuvillette. Hello, my favorite dragon. Our favorite dragon. It's been a while, Monsieur Nuvillette. I must say, I wasn't expecting my meeting request to be approved quite so quickly. The Palais Mermonia operates with an efficiency worthy of admiration. It is only right that an esteemed diplomat such as yourself should be afforded the proper level of respect. Although, if I may speak plainly, I must confess that I did not anticipate we would have the occasion to meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. Mm -hmm. I see you brought the Traveler and Paimon with you as well. If I may... All, all the team is here. The of your visit. Furina is missing and shortly. There is, be however, everything. an outstanding matter that I would like to see resolved before I go. It requires a rather lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. So I took the liberty of explaining everything in this proposal. Please review it at your leisure, Monsieur Nevelette. No, spoil no spoilers, huh? Did she make her make herself a cup of tea? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Make yourself I a home. I understand your request. However, at the risk of causing offense, I must admit that I fail to see why you would wish for such a thing. I heard you have a certain fondness for water tasting, Monsieur Nervalet. So allow me to use water as an analogy. Huh? A family is like a large body of water with countless rivers flowing in and out. As someone who watches over this system, I would hope that each river that flows from the source will eventually reach the ocean. Of course, objectively speaking, I know this is impossible. Most of the rivers will dry up along the way, disappearing into the ground and leaving nothing but a barren riverbed behind. Not all rivers are destined to reach the ocean, but I would not see their existence rendered meaningless. I believe the water that flows within them is simply meant for a different destination, like a field in need of irrigation. Or perhaps the glass of a certain water-tasting enthusiast. Um, did you get any of that, Traveler? Uh, I guess... Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. It may have been tainted at one point in time, but not to worry. I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Hmm. I seem to recall there being a transactional aspect to your proposal. Perhaps you could expound on that? If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nivellette, I will gradually withdraw my forces from Fontaine. And, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. 
I presume I can take your words to mean that, in the future, cases similar to the Tartuffe assassination will cease to cross my desk. Tartuffe. Tartuffe. Ah, that thief who oh. embezzled funds from all those charities, you mean? My deepest condolences to his family, but without any evidence, I cannot imagine how the House of the Hearth might have been involved in his passing. Are you talking about that of guy? Of course, if you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nervalet, I'm sure certain measures could be taken to reduce the frequency of such troubles. I think it's the first time uh, these cutscenes they revealed on YouTube, the animations, the teasers, actually are related or are, are a backstory to the game because i think tartuffe was the name of that family and that guy that died that died uh, that was uh, in a meeting with arlecchino let's say that because of that uh, of that kid i don't know this feels weird that we know these backstories from trailers in, on YouTube that they released on their channel. So, I guess... I choose your words carefully indeed. In that case, I am inclined to accept your proposal. My thanks for your generosity, Monsieur Nervalet. Well, with that settled, we should be going now. I took the liberty of bringing along two bottles of spring water from Snezhnaya for you to enjoy. I do hope I get the chance to hear your impressions. Perhaps at our next meeting? Isn't Snezhnaya a frozen country? Did you just defrost the wither, the, the river? Indeed. I trust you would not overlook your commitment in the meantime. All right, traveler Paimon. Time to go. I was, he I was literally here as a witness. I, I didn't do anything. Leave the Palamer Moria. So, uh, what exactly were you talking about back there? Paimon only heard you mention some rivers, a large body of water, and then some kind of irrigation scheme. It was for Nuvillet to understand it better. You really want to know? I would imagine there might be more pressing concerns at the moment. <sighs> Winnie, Paimon really hopes everything's going okay. She is more of a fox oh. than. I recognize that look. You've got your dicky cap on, don't you, Charlie? Then Miko. There's more... The knave may seem relaxed, but she didn't seem to be joking earlier when she said those who betrayed the organism might pay with their lives. I think she's serious about punishing those kids. How should you stop her? No, there's something else we should figure out first. I feel like that guy who waves is important. While we were talking in front of the polymonia, she mentioned Clary's name. That doesn't mean she knew where Clevy was this entire time. Maybe she even anticipated how Lini and the others was going to act. Bro. NPC number 512. Oh shoot. Are you alright? How strong am I? He, he literally I think he just bumped into a wall. Hello? I, I didn't even even move. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry. I was so focused on selling these papers, I wasn't looking where I was going. I also wasn't paying attention. Well, let me make it up to you at least. Here, take this paper. On the house. You're not suspicious at all. Kind of familiar for... Oh, you don't have to hmm. miss anything. Hmm. Please, I want to. It's not like I'm short on supply. All the extras will be useless come tomorrow anyway. It's my fault, really. I was just trying to bring home some extra mora for the family, but I bit off more than I can chew. I haven't had many takers today, so I'm still swimming in papers. So it's What's true. What's going on here? Then, Arle, if I click here and he says he her name, I'm 100% sure this guy, th that Arle Kino doesn't uh, uh, kill any of the house members. Uh, nothing much. Uh, oh, never I just mind. Ran into your friend here on accident. Your friend? I should probably get going, actually. So. How do you know? How do you know this? Hold on. Um, of course I'm happy to compensate you with Mora. It's just, I don't have any on me at the moment. I'll take three papers. Here, your payment. Oh. 
Thank you for your patronage. May the Archons bless you with good fortune. If only I had the chance to run into such generous customers every day. <laughs> I should probably just take on a smaller inventory though, right? I'm getting married soon, so sometimes it's hard to not get ahead of myself. Anyway, I should head out. Goodbye! Is he there? I think he's, he was once a uh, house of the heart member because he looks familiar. One. Two. Maybe he doesn't recognize her because probably she erased her his memory he brain she brainwashed him huh there's a lot there's a lot of questions here i better just go and uh, we'll figure it out i think i'm now overthinking everything settled we should take the boat back to poisson we've even acquired some light reading to enjoy along the way who's reading the newspaper Actually realize how hungry she is she can't head back to poisson on an empty stomach well that time was trying to buy us more time if we head back no adoblini and the others will have made any progress it what should appears we do? you two are under the impression that delaying our return will somehow alter the situation in your favor <laughs> i'm sorry to ruin your fantasy but your efforts are meaningless that being said i could be persuaded to give Linny some extra time i just have one condition if you agree to my request, I'll even answer some of your questions. You're quite curious about Claire V. Okay, so you know about her. And my relationship to her. So most likely those two words that I was so eager to tell her, she already knows. Wait, why are you being so generous all of a sudden? Indeed. You're not going to ask us to do something bad, are you? You overestimate yourself. You don't have the talent for bad uh, hey, hey, Rude? Uh, then what can you possibly... The most important consideration I feel in offended. the negotiation is that both sides receive something they want. Demands and threats only get you so far. 